their way through the entire bracket so far. Well, they need to get fired up right here, right now on the T side of their map choice. Vertigo here for everybody to sink their teeth into. And let's see just what Gambit have to offer. They were lacking a bit of punch in the previous game. Uber shaders on or off, Chad? I don't even know what that setting does, so I'm going to go with... Neither does Shiro. I'm going to go with off. Yeah, okay. All right, 50-50 on that. We should check in, see what he has it on today. But this is, uh, well, the Gambit special. Default heavy, spreading out, waiting for contact. And there's a little bit. Shiro chipped on down. I've been less convinced by Vitality's vertigo at times, but I've also seen things go incredibly swimmingly well. And that spot you see Zaiwa occupying now, he does love to live there, whether it's rifle or, or even pistol. Both cheeky girders being used right now. Kyojin on the B site is operating towards the back of the girder there. Now, if they execute, he can say tucked in. Shocks will be able to bait for him from that mid construction position, but it looks like a split's coming through. Well, and they could molly him. If it's for default, Nafany won't get the info, but he has one, and mid responsibility is shocks. Now, they'll boost one up. Sometimes they even boost two up on this. If this is their standard pistol, then you get two bodies over the top. But Nafany is lining up his default util, so smoke gens. Shocks to react. Hobbit doesn't give it. Oh, just the timing, and that's perfect. Molly quad, shocks, gooshed, and finished. That's a Gambit pistol every day of the week. Now, they didn't invest into kits. That was a 5 Kev CT buy, so chances are they just let this one roll over and take it. Yeah, and it is a shame to say in a 5v3 situation, but we saw how it worked out for VP yesterday when they held onto their Kevlar, right? They're actually able to use that to their advantage here. So Vitality looking to just keep these three players alive, maybe exits. What a peaceful pistol. Yeah, well, look, pacifists, Vitality, apparently. I don't want to draw any bloodshed here today. Bomb well and truly over halfway gone now. Don't need to t move too far away from the explosion, but Apex actually getting a little bit hungry for something. Creeps on oh, in. Hobbit might actually get another one. Well, that looked too easy, didn't really it? Really easy, yeah. And Apex has actually punished them accordingly as well. So even trades in that sense, but Gambit do grab themselves the round. Yeah, a bit of weak sauce there, really. But uh, a pistol round is good for Gambit here to kick off proceedings. Let's see if they can run with this momentum. Absolute worst case scenario for them right now would be losing this next round of play. Molly lands Kyojin before it has a chance to bloom steps on out. And there's Hobbit just pincering on in. The timing was perfect right there from 0 to 100, and the Force Buy will come on through. Scout for Apex, Deagles for the rest, Smokes to try and hold them at bay, and you can see one right there trickling down towards the base of that A ramp. But if it's anything like the pistol here, I think Gambit will take their time about things. Nice looking pistol on Zywoo and Apex. He loves himself a Scout, been trying to farm up his Scout kills this season. Be interesting to see, like, just compare his Scout kills this year with previous Apex Scout kills. I can take a look at that. And Apex actually opting for his USPs, trying to contain them, trying to slow them down and take chunks away, but Gambit are happy to reset. Seems like two players as well, right? Two shit, yeah. So uh, maybe that's enough to force them elsewhere across the map. And it has. Yeah, they've crossed the bridge. Now they're just having a bit of a mother's meeting down there. Now back over towards A they head. Masuta and Zaiwu. I'm interested to see what they have to counter the Nafani approach in the gun rounds. Saw a lot there. Did get a lot of info. I can't believe he's sticking around. That should be the death of Zaiwu, and it is. Now, Masuta's trying to delay, drops his scaff util, and is re repelled by a need of their own. Here comes Nafani, just leading from the front lines. He'll grab himself a second and just racking him up. That preserved Kevlar hasn't got them too far. No, and this one is done again here. So uh, a great little response here out of Gambit. And that is what you want to see out of Nafani, right? He is going to be integral right now. And you were just bringing it up the way that he approaches this A ramp position, dropping that smoke, either going to play to the left of it with a creep up behind the initial sandbag on the ramp or use it as a one way. But if he's feeling it and he's taking those fights, we heard, uh, I believe it was an interview before talking about Nafani leading the, uh, the, the tournament the moment, as far as opening kills. He really could be a difference maker here in a map like this. Yeah, no, certainly. And Apex's scout is uh, thrown. It's probably still in the air right now, actually. Yeah, falling slowly down. Now, if we threw a scout and an AWP off the side of the building, which one would hit the ground first? Uh, both at the same time. Hey, you pass. Yes. There we go. Well, that's not true. We don't know how much they weigh. Right? Because the whole the conundrum is, is if you had a kilogram of feathers and a kilogram of... Bricks. They'd bricks. hit the ground at the same time, yeah. right? Yeah, we just don't know if a scout and an AWP weigh the same. Oh, okay. Well... Let's hope that hit the ground at the same time for argument's sake. Bang. 
Need more of that, Anaphany. And I was going to bring up the fact that we watched the course Gambit fall to VP uh, recently in this very tournament on this map. And I think Yakinda locking and denying Nafani's project through Molotov, yeah. game and pushes was something that I'm sure Vitality would have scribbled some notes on about. They've already looked great on their map pick. Let's see if Vitality can respond. Obviously, not this one particularly. They'd love a couple of extra frags just to keep Gambit honest. Well, we can use this smoke right here. You can see Shiro playing behind it right now to help illustrate what Nafani does, right? I know Shiro's here, but this smoke is a T-side smoke that gets dropped. And if you play on that scaffolding position, you can actually use it to one way over, right? It helps uh, stop the CTs from going hyper-aggressive. Yeah, and the smoke they threw short side as well is equally as powerful. You don't necessarily feel it, but what you do get is those little toes poking out as they swing from that one way he's gone in Scaf, as well as the short smoke they're throwing from Spawn. Nice little flash lined up here. Yeah, you need a quick eagle headshot, and Kyojin's made of them. We saw what he was hitting on Vertigo not long ago. Yeah, that G2 game, close one. Ooh, that was a very wide swing from Apex there. That's a... A dying arc, as Yeah, you put it. <laughs> an Apex classic, though, so... Oof. Hey, he landed the dink, so Shiro will probably have to be at the back of the pack with Hobbit. It's going to be Inters and Nafni, appropriately, that will start their advance now. 50 seconds as we do see Apex rejigging the defense. They might opt for a boost. It's not the worst idea in the world. But they'll just double up here. No molly. If they can catch a timing, back's turn. Don't forget, Shiro low, Hobbit two. Deagle bullets can do damage, as will the P250 into the head. Gambit. They're really getting a little light on time here as they start to dump their util. Flight pass outlined. Hobbit responsible for short push. And it's Nafani that has cracked open the site. Oh, lovely. And it's Nafani again to solve the problems on this site. Bodyguarded by Inters now and the Kyojin D. Can he do it again? The answer is no. Call it 3-0 and we will be ready to see the rifles out in full force. Yeah, curious now to see what the purchases are for Zywu here. Right, obviously one of the A defenders could operate with an AWP to take a bit more of an aggressive line, but it is going to be five silenced M4s across the board. The AWP for Shiro, though, comes... Good look for Nafani early here. Four kills, zero deaths. Things seem to be going quite well for him. And just mopping him up, so no dramas with the conversions right there. Let's see what responses can Vitality have for this. Ooh, that might bait them in if they wanted to punish that Shiro orb herd towards the beat opening. Have to be careful here, Masuta. Hobbit has already passed the line. You can see swinging on in. Masuta oh. almost with the lineup of the TK. Very fortunate there that Inters was a little bit trigger happy. That counts. He'll take it. Kept level. And that aggression, there's the first example of how they plan to cage the Nafani's aggression. And Kyoj is actually going to cage the full beat info. He's actually pushed all the way up the stairs, re-smoking it now, and Axar can do nothing but stare at it. Very RPK-esque. Mm, touche. I need to get that word out of my mouth. Touche. Yeah. Voulez-vous touche avec moi? C'est quoi? C'est quoi? <laughs> really close. Okay, well, he doesn't get all the info, but he does confirm that Fork is still occupied. Crawling up behind the AWP here, enough utility to execute but Kyojin's actually quite quick on this flank. He has a teammate with him in Shox as well, so Kyojin can play ahead, and Shox can actually bait him here. Yeah, oh, completely caught out. Yeah, completely, and Zywoo's next. Zywoo's next. He's not dead, and oh, Kyojin didn't clear his corners neither. Well, Shox doesn't react in time, and that doesn't really get much easier than that. The hard part done. Haro shouted 4 and 0. Oh, first Gunny goes the way of Gambit. Inter's made up for the TK as well there. That was two fantastic shots to seal the deal on that one right there. And a smile creeping onto the face of Nafani now. So starting to feel a bit better over there in the Gambit camp. Just remembering what they're capable of as well. Now you can see that the money's a bit weird. And I just saw a really nice spotless mouse pad on Hobbit's desks, which made me prompted me to ask you, have you ever actually cleaned a mouse pad? No, I just buy a new one. Ah. Yeah. I heard the dishwasher can work. Yeah, oh, really? The dishwasher? Imagine the efficiency. Enough. Hang it up on the line afterwards. Dishwasher. I was talking to Yakinder about this when we were going over his setup. He said he's, he changes mouse pad every two months. Two months? That Make sounds sure he reasonable. has a fresh pad. Yeah, I, I, think, I, I think that I was getting about a new one every three months. Yeah, Rob said four times a year. Four times a year, okay. He said once a season. There you go. You got a winter pad, yeah. summer pad. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm sure there's some players who never change. They just stick with the same gear forever. And the Gyojin Deeg is out again, so we'll get to see if he can... Ooh, well, at least it avoid the stack nade towards the...
close box. I would hate to be a B defender on this map. It just feels like there's so few. Oh, that's a lovely angle, and he's managed it so well. Zaiwu, look at the damage. Nearly two. He will go. No, he won't. Know he's the got one a one way. way. It's a brand new one way for them. He spotted one cross, and now he's going to use it to get away. Well played by Zaiwu. He knows he's got Shiro low. He is sticking around to do more damage. So much naughty. damage. This is just Deagles and Kev. This is a light buy. But Gambit, they're going to be limping into this site. Typically, in this kind of case, it will be you have to be Axile that charges into the site first and calls it clear, makes it clear. And, well, Hobbit's made it clear that he doesn't plan to go down just yet. Two on short, looking the wrong way. And that'll do nicely. Axile delivers what his team required. Scary Deagles, though. And Zywu given us a nice tutorial as to another one way to contain. Yeah, it just felt like there was a few moments where that one could have gone wrong, but handled by Gambit here, and we will call this one 5-0 to zero now as Kyojin the last man standing. But Max lost bonus by coming back on through. It's the mid-exchange with Masuta, Hobbit, Slash, Inters, TK. That's how the last gun round was opened up. And right now it feels like uh, the flow of the game is definitely in the palm of the hand of Nafani here, right? The calling... Quite simple, they're not rushing anything, they're just staying to standard trading efficiently. And when I say trading, well, they're not even going down. I was having a look, I think, what was it, that seven round spread for uh, Vitality when they closed out the first half of Dust 2 it was 1.8 kills as the average here. It's only been a total of, what are we looking at here, two, four, six, seven kills over the first five rounds of play right now from Vitality against Gambit. Really kept him, kept his cool there. A lot of players could get a bit too flustered, cancel after those first two go awry, but... Surprisingly, they didn't know where he was either. Yeah. So the Tracers uh, weren't the undoing of him here, but Shox will be bringing out the AWP, not Zywoo this time round, and we know that they tend to chop and change depending on who's feeling it for whatever reason. A ramp smoke lines up. Zywoo and Apex to defend over towards the ramp. And they need a round, but that is a tag. Apex already put on notice here, 18 points of health remains as Shiro's AWP. Puts Gambit in a great position to start converting another round here in towards the B lobby one more time. Kyojin with the bodyguard of Shocks and Masuda on a lockdown mid again. You saw Axel just the other day have a biff constantly with Buster. Yeah, Shocks yet to do a single point of damage. That's likely to change here as he has Gambit coming his way, flashed off and it's Kyojin. Yeah, that... He really did need that. Vitality again on the back foot, quick boost, and it is that Shocks Orb that they're well aware of. If they just execute into this AWP, right, the utility will be so stifling. Shock should be overrun here. Oh, oh, doesn't even get a chance to do anything. Oh, Axile, looking good today. Yeah, and they can do whatever they want with this now. Like, mission accomplished. You put your two B defenders dead, you know you're likely forcing a save at the bare minimum. Ooh, hold up a second, though. Are they reconsidering the B bomb site right now? Have they maybe thought a few steps ahead that Vitality would have rotated quite heavily towards B. We have 40 seconds remaining. Zywu forward. He loves this. Bit of an off angle here. Yeah, but he gets info as well. He can see through the top. There you go. Oh, and not another heavy damage, no kill round for Zywu with his M4. There's still two of them here, but if you execute thoroughly, Gambit win the round every day of the week. Yeah, and he gets confirmation that they're both there. 20 seconds, you have to commit now, no? The Masuta, he's been dispatched to address it. But the bomb planted and the round won. I think maybe he was expecting a little bit of a flank coming in there. So Masuta trying to reposition now, trying to save. And well, spotted by Hobbit now. The AWP has been scavenged, but for how long? Inters and Shiro now pushing through spawn behind. Axel are going to join the pack. They've contained him. They know exactly where he is. Change back to the M4 to try and defend his honor here. Masuta has a full bag of nades, a defuse kit, an AWP. He'd love to carry through. And I don't know if they're going to let that happen. There's the first. Smoke's good. Might plant some seeds of doubt, but if he gives Hobbit his fight... Ah, Shiro's got him. Oh, this is really problematic right now. Very big issues uh, at this juncture of the game because it's 6-0. Look at how the cash situation is meeting for the Gambit side of things. Shiro, as the AWPA, six rounds deep, has 13k to his name. You've got Hobbit and Axile close to that 7k mark. Inters and Nafani around the 5-6. slash So plenty of cash money over there. And it's another round where Vitality going to be on a light buy. And it was really impressive as well to many, seeing how Gambit can not only play one full-length series, but come in and the second, with convincing finishes in the third. You know, they played like 14 hours of competitive Counter-Strike yesterday. Long day yesterday. Very long day for them. And yet they still managed to remain strong and stalwart. 
this is a really good bounce back, right? Because they were pants in the previous. It wasn't competitive whatsoever. They were just getting dictated to. And now they're the ones doing the dictating. But, uh, oh, Oof. Ooh, that was like a backflip out of Shiro. Yeah, there. his back is broken. Finally, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, Gambit do need to stabilize, and it's Inters again to bail them out of trouble. Nafani trying to make it look like there's a multiple members here as he juggles the orb and actually opts to keep it, trying to throw it away. He's recycling that, and... Oh, Apex. Yeah, he's fallen for this. He could perhaps catch a timing, though. Oh, he does. He does, and so does Zaiwu. A clear, bomb lost, rifle scooped up, and Inters... So low. He was so good in the double, but he needs another pair of frags, and Apex in the off angle is good for it. Inters, can you really pull off a low HP? 1v2, Kyojin, a single click of his D could do it. And Inters has not made a single sound cue, so Kyojin will not be getting any free information in that regard. 30 oh. seconds, he's actually heading towards Kyojin's domain up the ladder. Feels like it should be the most likely here, but that's where Kyojin's turned his full attention right now. Now we're concerned about A. He'll do intermittent checks. 20 Inters. He can access B from here I as well. I don't think Inters is expecting this. I foul. He's not at all. I foul. He will have his cross there in the right place, but so will Kyojin. And Vitality on Deagles have found their first. Now, if this is anything like Dust 2, they can build off of that into something quite different and special. But it is a light buy and a second victorious round for Vitality in this uh, series with nothing more than pistols. Yeah, that's uh, a wild one to win. It all started with Apex with that cracker of a shot where the modeler Shiro just went head over ass. Bit of a backflip scenario there, but here we go. Can this get the engine started? Because Vitality not looking like they've been too competitive whatsoever when the rifles have been in their hands. Yeah, well, it's a bit of a confidence booster. The unquantifiables continue. Nafani can see that smoke counters that of the CTs, but Zywi's presence does as well. Maybe this is just a question of what was working for them on Dust2 when they were being aggressive, right? They were taking a lot of fights. It was heads up CS. Oh, Ooh, he has no idea just how close those wall banks were, and Zywi was unfazed, unbothered. Smoke is fading. Two in mid for Hobbit's progress. He's usually quite late on that. Resmoking and Zywi, are you going to change your mind? This is risky, right? Nafani is a, a bit of a rascal around these A ramp smokes. So by hanging around, Zywi is susceptible to spams. Has actually pivoted back now and will get out of dodge. So they do retain their lives here. Even peeking up a chicken. Oh, Kyojin. Wrecked. Axile's so good at catching oh, that no. timing, and Shocks could very well be his next victim here. Oh, flashed off. The util's good, but Masuta's better. Lots of pressure. And Shiro missing. Again, it leads to his demise. Shocks gets him. Gambit. We talked about the coffers being really full, but if they can continue to string together defensive frags here, Vitality will start whittling away at that bank balance. Shocks just in the blind spot. Takes another fight. Yeah, to the dome. Inters going to perhaps catch that nade. The shrapnel shy. Relocation, though. You can see progress. Nafani walking up short. Oh, wait, they're heading for this. They're yeah. quick. They're quick. Well, now if he's got all of that space, and you can see the rotates on its way, Apex may not be ready for this. Behind the molly, still gets it, and enters the last to fall. Lovely stuff out of Vitality. They'll get take two consecutive rounds, and with four players still alive as well. Yeah, that is good stuff, and it does feel like that Deagle round reminded them that they can just take the fights here against Gambit, because in a lot of that, it was not sitting back, and oh, after time for Inters there. Yeah, now we're seeing some dramas, right? It was 13k for Shiro not too long ago. He has eight remaining, but he might have to drop a gun for Inters now. And a timeout called, so Groove needs to get on the mic here. What's changed? One-way traffic for the first six. Vitality, one more round for them, and they can actually look to break the bank balance now of Gambit. Lost bonus starting to build for them. But yeah, Apex looks like he's caught out of position still and able to recover that kill. Flashing forward, good-looking stuff, and oh, bit of frustration there from Shiro. Maybe... Wants to get that back pill a little bit more comfortable. Inters is uh, operating with a Tech 9 here, so hasn't been fortunate enough to get a drop of a rifle. The rest will have the AKs and the AWP, the weapons desired. Plenty of util. Uh, this is where you want to see the fight back from Gambit here. They have a huge bucket of rounds already here within this T-half. I'm sure they would be loving to get up to eight at least, win out the half. You see the division of their resources. Just back to the standard, is there? No, well, not for Kyojin, that wasn't standard at all. He immediately takes those stairs, takes those liberties. Shiro <laughs> tries to knock the nade <laughs> out of its progressive path. Oh, 
A good free smoke. You can see Zyru is faffing with his nades now, so he could set that up and lock them out for another 15, as he has. Or his teammate, rather. In a way, Spray is bang on off. money, yeah, but Nafani still slips through. He's not ready for this. Apex was looking the wrong way. Zyru has to activate as he slips back through. On the one way, great control of the AK. Yeah, still up. Yeah, and Zaiwu is isolated. He's on an island at this point in time. Rotates in. Masuta's arrived. They group up. Oh, and Nafani. He was in a prime position to collect that. Zaiwu's just real quick on this rival today. Hit swing now. Masuta, the unknown entity, oh. and they just walk into the spray. Beautiful execution, actually, from this CT setup. And Shiro looked frustrated. Now he's motivated. Two of the four required. With the Molly denying the swing, he can plant safe. And now piecing together the clutch. A quick reaction shot required as he moonwalks out of there. And oh my god, he hits it onto shocks. Only Kyojin can save them now. Shiro, he's adjusted his back pillow, but it's just shy of a miraculous 1v4. Kyojin keeps vitality in it with a third, but that looked so close to perfection. Great stuff from Shiro there, unfortunately, not to be able to convert that one, but you can see how quick he was on the shots, the awareness of just how many players could be around, getting that bomb down as well. So did an awful lot, kept Vitality honest about things. Apex goes down early, here's that kill. Zaiwu levels things up, and then he even grabs another. The double of Masuts is brilliant. It looking all done and dusted at that point. You're probably thinking to yourself, it's a classic Shiro save, but reactionary shots from him. And Kyojin does end it there, keeping the French on their winning ways. Three in a row. Down to pistols for Gambit, so they are broke. But it has been done the hard way. Three consecutive gun rounds required for Vitality, and well, one of those was by virtue of the Deagles here. Masuda steps out. Ooh, easy there, soldier. He's ready to fight, isn't he? And so is Apex. Actually, cancels Nafani's aggressive project, and Hobbit, the bodyguard, is fallen too. Now they've boosted up. There will be a, I imagine, a sound cue on the dismount. Masuta might be just a little too far away. And the second one this time up onto the box. Masuta gonna have to have to adjust. He's gonna be ready for this and gets the information to mid. And to dead mid is the follow up. It's only Axel and his Deagle, Kyojin. This time, good for it. Yep, there's that AWP. We get that back for Papa Shocks. Pick that one up. We'll throw it across. And one of the notes here with the CT side, they are. Round after round, having Shocks and Kyojin go over towards B at the start, just to make sure that Axel can't be bullying Kyojin early, right? And that's a key, because if he's straight into B lobby, that's a pressure applied immediately. And I already said it sucks to be a B holder on Vertigo. There's only so many places you can stand, so that buys them at least the first 30 seconds or so. But yeah, I mean, just stopping that from being, you know, the Axel show. There you go, you can see that molly, similar as to what we saw being thrown from Yukinda when they were playing against Gambit to try and slow the crawl. Trying to find some toes here, Shiro peering over the cusp of the smoke. Damage either way, Hobbit chunked down, Apex with a little bit too, and well, nobody overstepping the mark just yeah. yet. You know, it's funny, the, but the dynamic of like the BT player typically being the BCT player as well, you're seeing that in both of assets, like for example, Zaiwu just knowing how to peek that ramp info without exposing his toes to an AWP line that he's probably held thousands of times himself. There is parallels on this T and CT. There's a one way against, they've just lobbed that out and they're gonna be very scared of it because to swing into that, it's not an easy fight. We need a flash. Two of them around it. Cheeky. Good find. Apex actually committed to that, but now Zaiwu can't believe you're sticking around. Five seconds on that, and Shiro not falling for the same trick twice has given Gambit a red carpet run into the A site. Yeah, they're quick up. Suta would need a multi-kill, and that's not gonna happen with Hobbit. Ready and raring to go into the A site. Now, they're not rushing it. They don't need to. They've got a three-man advantage. Shock's likely to be saving towards spawn. Axel's starting to hunt as well. He's B lobby now. He has taken that room, so they can try and punish and take away these rifles here. Trying to see if anybody's on the catwalk towards the outer side of things. But two big kills from Shiro, and you're right, it was the red carpet laid on out. That was the round for Gambit to win right there. No foot faults. As they are pushing closer, Axel just on the other side with two to find. Takes his time, trigger discipline, one and two. Spotted the first, well, won't land the one tap. Let's finish off Kyojin, the spam. Wild Shocks goes down two, and there you have it.
Now remember, Kyojin had to clutch out that round previously, so quite a few more weapons did hit the deck than necessary because of Shiro's 1v4 attempt. Gambit are in a position now where they can win one more gun round and maybe, just maybe, Vitality will have to ask some questions about their buys. But you use that one way once, yeah, it works. You try and use it again, no, Shiro's ready for you. And you can see, you can see an awful lot there with the scope, can't you? I'm sure with the rifles from range, not going to see a lot, but the scope on in of that AWP, big difference maker. Got some magnificent beards in the uh, fan section today. Masuta, I wonder if he's going to... Yeah, oh, he's not ready for that at all. That's a nice angle to adopt from a Hobbit on that Z-axis for Masuta's clear. And Winters, oh. He's been sharp. He is. Another two-man advantage here. So another round for Gambit to win. More aggression from Shocks, taking some space towards middle. They have to take something back. And that all happens so quick. We have a minute 20 left on the clock. They can just stroll in here. Zaiwoo's not even overseeing business right now. You can see him passive towards the heaven position, trying to rotate in in time, lobbing out some utility to make this interesting swing. And nothing. Axel eliminates. Okay. Well, that's the half. Call this one 8-4. Very different look from Dust 2. If he did miss that, it was a blowout in the favor of Vitality. The French were looking hot to trot on that. Gambit really not too much to offer here, and Inter's looking for another. Yeah, back turned. Kyojin down. Just shocks. Maybe this is a banger on map three. Maybe. Maybe. Look, if Vitality, they're, they're probably the best that they're going to be able to look at here, I would say, is a 9-6, just because of the buy that we're going to see come through now. So this should be Gambit securing the ninth. If it's a 9-6 half, and then the cliche of the pistol round, but realistically, they could continue to push the issue. And, and I was taking a look before, right? This is a head-to-head -head of, uh, I think it was back in Pro League when these two teams faced. It was an 8-7 first half in favor of Gambit starting on the T side. And uh, then on the, the uh, T side for that of Vitality, they managed to get nine rounds of their own to win 16-14. So their T half, maybe it's got uh, something a little bit extra. A bit like Apex there, a little bit extra. He is a, certainly an extra boy. Oh, they love the Deagles. Oh, no, they can't They can't lose two of them. And this is like the extra light version. All right, let's... Let's see. It's only... It, I, I can't, I can't. You can't, but maybe they can. They can. Oh, you bastard, you stole it. I like the boost, actually. Very promising signs here if you're a Frenchman. They're going to be so worried about ramp. Oh, tip of the head, but falls off. Dismount. They're surely not going to adapt that again because here comes the rain of util and terror. They actually dunk on Apex just to add salt to the wound. A great headshot out of Axar to secure it. And this is a great recovery. Zywoo sprayed down and Gambit having absolutely none of it. That's the recovery you'd hope to see. Three out of Axile as well, stopping any of that in its tracks. Nine secured, as you discussed. The potential for a sixth is there, but not really going to be ideal. There might have to be a glass cannon orb if they want to see one. Yeah, so they have been smoking the ramp quite consistently, and we have seen Shiro go down and take that peak towards Crane. So if they wanted to try and find themselves a heads-up fight, that's one they could look for. Would depend on some of the spawns here. And as I just take a little bit of inventory right now of the spawns over there, that was the shot from Zaiwoo. Uh, Zaiwoo has the best spawn for A right now. So if there was ever a time to go AWP, he has. He's using this spawn right now. This is a great way for them to find an opening. There is still an opportunity for them to get 9-6 on the half. Gambit aren't going to have any troubles with the buys going forward. And a bit of an interesting note here is Shiro is currently equipped with a silenced M4. He doesn't have the AWP in his hands, so maybe, just maybe, they're happy to operate on this T-side without it for a round or two. They could buy one. It's not like money's an issue right now. Uh, he's just going to stick with the rifle. So here we go. It is on Zywoo to find a pick, and it looks like they're just going fast B. All right. Well, I do like the change up. That will certainly off the back of a CT timeout. Oh, this is very aggressive. Yeah, and Kyojin does manage to at least draw blood. It's an opener. And it's Axile as well, the top fragger and performer for Gambit. So what now? They 
have a lot of space to work with. They have an opener. They're even juggling nades across. That would have been audible when that one hit the deck. Shox has backup in Masuta. Zaiwu with all the pressure on his shoulders. They're basically allowing Zaiwu to solo A, and Apex is cheating his way over to lock down mid and help if it is a B finish here. It's counterintuitive, the angle Zaiwu likes to hold here, but... He can't get away, yeah, right? Precisely. He has to fight his way out of this. Maybe that suits him. But like when you get double swung, how do you get more than one? He's gonna show us. Easy there, Tiger. In trouble now. Still gets a second, fighting his way out of trouble. A very well placed nade between the groin. And a three on two. Vitality in hot pursuit of a fifth. Yeah, B's clear. Shox knows it. Hobbit last with that bomb. Thrust into the clutch. And he'd love a smoke. Doesn't have one. Oh, well, he's seen him have some massive games before on Vertigo. This one on three, not outside of the realms of possibility for a player like Hobbit. I'm interested if he does manage to find Apex prior to this plant. He might get the respect of Masutas, who wants to partner up with Shoxi, but Apex not giving him anything. So if this really is him just planting against three, they'll just let it go down and they need to soften him up. He's away, though. He yeah. can play this out now. He certainly can. Now, smoke, but no kit. I'm not seeing one. This gets really awkward, and look how far he's pushing for Shocks. He knows it's possibility. Hobbit, you ballsy boy. And Shocks down. Hobbit going for this. He is going to have to give the fight, give it a look. They're looking the wrong way. Now adjusted. And a 10 second defuse secured, but Hobbit does put some sweat on the palms. Yeah, I was kind of getting flashbacks with that angle he was about to assume right there. It's yesterday against Fnatic. I don't know if you guys caught that clutch he had against Fnatic right there, but that was a devastating round that he won yesterday. Not able to get it done here, and that will be the fifth for the French. And Zywu, you're right, you're talking about how counterintuitive that angle is, but the fact he gets two from that, right? Like, he knows in that moment, I have to stand and kill as many players as I can. And Zywu, he did that fantastically well. Jojen yeah. kicked things off, so great stuff here from the two of them. Yeah, the two anime names, Zywu and Kyojin. Oh, that, that wasn't meant to land there. There's the same Molotov we've been discussing. Nafani will be caged initially. Yeah, Qualms with a slower approach here again, but the buy is very juicy over there for Gambit. So if they just want to wait out any early util, make sure they don't get pushed like they did in the previous. Warning shots and warning nades. Ooh. The smoke will fade. Last round of the half. Here he comes. Yeah, so I was ready for it. Again with the re-molly, so he has to go ramp. And he does! Oh, straight. the molly behind it must have been. Yeah, just with the incandescence, it's oh dear. given him vision. And he's just banging out Gambit here. Zywo sends him straight back to that fork room with a two-man disadvantage, and he even implies a push. That had to have been the, the ambient occlusion or whatever. It's that, there's no other way. Yeah, like, exactly. he just locks straight on there. Exactly, and it's, it's clean through a smoke as well. So, Volvo, please. That is rough to swallow for Nafani there, and it is a fake over towards B. It's drawn a massive rotation. Shox is here, Apex Masuda too. So, Zaiwu, how much more you got in you? Well, we're going to learn a pop flash or two. Yeah, you can see just how battened down the hatches are towards B. Go on, Zaiwu. He has at least got some fallback options here, so drops a one way. Oops, loud as hell. They only have 15 seconds, they, they have to finish A. Yeah, and that smoke's done enough to buy time, so Zaiwu ready for this. Misses his first, and if he was to re-peak, he knows Shiro's short now. Eight, lads, where's that bomb? It's on Inters, and he has got to sight. Can they plant? They can now. Oh, the fragging from Axel's great. And now a two-on-one established. Shox has just caught Inters on the moonwalk out, but... Axar's looking sharp. A double kill already makes it a triple, and Shox is coming as well. So close to perfection from Axile. Few frags from Shox, but they've been high impact. He makes it seven as he farms up the triple to make the 9-6 a reality. Perhaps there's more to be said about Vertigo after all. We'll take a quick one. Smiles are back on the faces of Gambit after a shambles on Dust 2, but this is their pick, and they're showing us why. We'll be right back to bring you the second half of our second map.
what up future pros? I have a nifty fast A smoke I saw Apex throw to help you on your pistol A rushes. You throw this smoke from the T spawn and it will block off the left side of the A side, allowing your teammates to run up short with a bit of smoke coverage. To throw the smoke, first shoot out the glass above. Really, this is the only one you need to break. But shoot them all anyway. Then get yourself stuck into this invisible corner next to this beam. Aim between these two dots as shown and jump out the smoke. This smoke will soar through the sky and land perfectly to block off the vision of short from the bomb site nice and early. As long as your teammates take out anyone playing close, you will have a decent standing to win the round. Good luck and rush A? Seems like I can't get away from the hot sun Always night and never day Even when I wash the floor the dust still comes Keep on hunting both Now typically I'm a play-by-play -play caster but bear with me here for some analysis A 9-6 half from Vertigo between Vitality and Gambit and if Vitality convert uh, and win the first gun round, Chad. They could very well take this series right here, right now. It'll be a tired game if all those things happen. Wow, all right, no need to steal my thunder. Now, if you uh, all caught that smoke from Rushley on the pro tips there, he has assured me it works on 64 tick as well. So give it a crack in your matchmaking games. But here we go, here we go. Axel's been having a fantastic game so far. 17 kills for him on the half. And let's see, Nafani. In his playground right now of Scaff, swinging out wide. Shiro appearing on down with the P2K as well and a P250. Very nice to get this on the T side. If you've ever wondered why, it is a great equalizer in terms of this damage fall off. And just effective range and accuracy of the USP. Glocks, much better up close range with their 20 bullets of mayhem, but oof, there's an example of Zaiwu. Tag it up one and in his special spot is Nafani as he up. has his Achilles plucked. Yeah, 59 and 62 respectively here. So look, it's nothing lethal and they're going to be aiming for the heads, but they're re-aggressing here. Three of them I love this. Yeah, it's just going to come down to an aim duel, which I'd have get Vitality winning every day of the week. It has to be something special here, Gambit. Push forward. Look how many there are. Vitality love a duel and Zywu has been given all of them. Masuta will grab one for his own. They know you're on headshot. Good luck in. Does a nice click. Any more of that? Maybe. Very loud on Masuta's swing. His box bodyguard's not there yet, and Masuta's oh, just as nice sharp shot. as everyone else. So, crispy clicks have led us here. Vitality happy to biff, and Axar demonstrates his affinity for it. That was miraculous. 18 and counting for Axar. He is one to be feared. Treat him with respect. And they double up. They double up. If he had found that first, Kyojin Ooh. was susceptible, but he'll grab that USP. Maybe it's a lucky USP. Maybe it is. And uh, once upon a time, in, in previous versions of Counter-Strike, Alex, you used to actually be able to buy the USP on the T side. Uh, how much did that cost? 200 bucks? I don't remember exactly. You're asking me to go back about 14, 15 years <laughs> Come now. on, Chab. You said you can remember anything Counter-Strike related. Did I? Yeah, no. <laughs> there I am, putting words in your mouth. <laughs> Oof. What Any, is anything counter strike The rate of fire of the FAMAS from 2008. My brain is melting. <laughs> okay. Four spy. The Gambinos with a UMP. A couple of digs, a couple of five sevens, a boost over the top, and ooh, a little chumperoony here. This could catch him off guard, but that's need. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, so much damage. Masuta is bleeding internally. Apex has lost an arm. Oh, that is a Bish and a Bosch right there. So they're going to be the follow-up of the Bash because this is now difficult. Yeah, Apex sure. half, Masuta almost dead. I'll tell you, one saving grace is that Zyru is still relatively healthy. So him, Shox, and Kyojin can ah. start doing that. Exactly that. Yeah, just through smokes again. Nafri's going to punch a hole in the desk next. Hey, uh, you two, just don't die. Let, let Mr. Zywu work his magic here. If they do opt to finish A, right, after the double nades and the early presence, what you would normally be thinking and what Gambit are hoping to posture with here is, yeah, we're heavy A. You know, you have to worry about boost. You have to worry about sandbag. We could have pushed up close. But calling the bluff are Vitality. They've boosted 
Apex on that low HP up in the forklift room. So he's just going to cover the flank from this position. Once upon a time, oh, felt like a very powerful position. Doesn't necessarily feel that way these days. But regardless, the stack is still on the wrong side of the map as Gambit. Very shortly, might just be finding themselves opting for a save. Double smoked off Zywu getting a power position of the sandbags. Now as they oh, push on through the site, the tracer fire was enough for Zywu to find the head of Hobbit. And I think there you have it. I do love, I, and I'm starting a completely different topic. I'm just making sure. Yep, okay. <laughs> just making sure I'm not going to miss anything. Uh, I do love the juxtaposition between our two like best players in Counter-Strike in terms of simple, the, the uh, good, uh, bad boy gone good, and sure. seeing the power of team play, but still being a bit of an outspoken star player. You know, he's our, uh, more of a traditional star, superstar in, in the field. And then you've got Zyru, who's just the nonchalant, I don't care, I just play, I like game. I like the, I like the video, the, the interview that you were doing with them, where you were talking about Simple and, and Zywu uh, is just like, yeah, Simple's better than me this I year. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I hey, know. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. I also appreciate Apex reminding me because, I mean, obviously I, I may have uh, alluded to through my line of questioning that Zywu was still proving himself on LAN, but Apex quickly reminded me that 2019 was a full LAN year yeah. and he was ranked the world's best player. It's not like Zywu hasn't done it on LAN. I just thought it's been so long since I'd seen it that it was a, a nice reminder over in Copenhagen. Yeah, look, uh, Zywu in front of that stage as well in that interview was just saying like how he enjoyed it. So it's good to be getting the best in the world back where they do their absolute best work. Here's a little smoke vision for you showing Zywu, the man in question, is getting it done. And they are very lush beards. I wonder if they use beard oils. Well, Chad, we discussed it. We might get a beardy Burchill coming into the new year. On the way if back. you're feeling yourself. This is an important round right now for Vitality to get to that 9-9, as you alluded to a little bit earlier. Yeah, and well, Shox is tasked with the unenviable job of trying to maintain but not only presence, but his life on these B stairs. He's at least confirmed he has the stairs under his remit, but... Three players still stubborn in their gamble here. Keep your eyes on the fact that Inters has a flash. You can do some nice alley-oop maneuvers to clear that. It's a great flash you can throw that completely flashes everybody in that B lobby position. So as time subsides, they might consider a maneuver just like that. Nafany is floating between CT spawn right now and is heading over to help out Hobbit towards A because more and more noisy Vitality players are making their way up. And uh, it's no coincidence that as they start stepping on A, Apex starts to activate mid. He has snuck the through wrong. enemy lines and on the rotate, he confirms two more B. Yep, definitely screaming two B. Or not to B is the decision for Vitality. And Apex is an awkward, having an awkward, an awkward one. Yeah, real problems now. And now Masuta has to take space here. His objective is more intricate. He drops the smoke, Hobbit sneaking. He's so low, though, so this Giga should Lils be a, an easy find, and it is. They have a kit on Inters, and they have two Galils. Oh, Shox, nice catch from Jakey. Oh, Shox is dead as well. Vitality, this would be the banana peel. They can't lose this. Daphne can go pick that up if he wants. He, he hasn't opted to go back yet. He's just sticking with the USB. Flash. Okay, so they really have to use these well and wisely. No kit, so careful with your life as well. They're pushing to clear short. Masuta isn't going to be exposed to it just yet. Zywo is, however. Yeah. Noisy, noisy. Tuck, tuck, spots and confirms it. He's dead as well. Oh, the Masuta just about saves the day. Good God, it couldn't have been closer, Chad. It really could not have been more threatening from Gambit on a light buy. That got out of control there, didn't it? It was just those saved weapons coming through the next round of play. You think oh. they've done a great job. They find the open corridor of middle there, but it gets awkward. Kyojin goes down, trying to flank on towards B. Apex caught between multiple fights right there. And Gambit, they push Vitality and make them sweat. Yeah, and break that uh, finance a little bit as well. Forcing some rebuys, getting those AKs back out. It's going to cost you. Well, this is the key right now. Lots of money for Masuda. He's holding on to the MAC-10 here. And this first gun round of the second half could be the defining moment in this map. Winner of this goes on to play VP in the semi. And loser oh. packs up their bags for the last time this year. They have uh, the Global Finals of Blast next week. Both these teams are there. G2's there, Heroic's there, Na'Vi, Astralis. I didn't know Gambit were there. My bad. Oof, bit of harassment utility there. Make that too. Chipped away at quite a few of the players here. Staying stubborn with this A approach. And there's four players from Gambit to deal with this as Nafani surges forward. Easy 
Is that, and he's not quite done yet. Nice double, makes it three as Inters throws his name into the feed and yeah, Vitality completely repelled and probably repulsed as they know they've got a 2v5 with 50 seconds, the impossible. In Counter-Strike, sometimes that impossible can quickly shift into something obtainable, but Naphne doesn't look to be doing anything out of the ordinary here, playing safe. Yeah, this is problems because of all the damage done in the previous round right now. Vitality's buy going forward will be in question. So the fact that they're going for this, the fact that they're risking these AKs, they need to get a plant out of this at best. Yeah, I mean, it's not like Gambit aren't going to have the entire squad here. So good luck, have fun, Lance. They're really just going to run into this? Seems that way. <laughs> so ambitious. Yeah, and... Uh... Predictable end to this round as Shox has just got himself one of the he five. Does after time, that's the absolute oh, worst. They're leaving they need him. To kill they're him. Leaving oh, him. They're leaving him. That is so oh, naughty. Oh, you meanies. 1850 for Shoxy. Uh, and the, so the frustrations for Shox when he's spots by Naphne and then clocks the clock. Three seconds, two and one as they tuck him into the grave. Should be a bit of a timeout here from Vitality, I think, because you need to discuss what the financial decisions are going to be going forward, right? At this point here, if you were just to go straight into the round, you might be throwing away a couple. So that was very awkward there. Very, very awkward. Oh, and Apex, you can see the frustration starting to mount there. A bit frustrated. The desk a bit of a whack. Shox doesn't look too concerned, though, does he? Masuda with 9k can drop an AK or two. So, 3.3 to his name. So, it's going to be interesting to see where these guns lie. Pissed around with the conversions on your screen there. And the first gun round response for Gambit. There's two AKs out there now. Loss bonus in the next round. Only going to be at that uh, 1900 mark. Just got a bit of a tech issue here. So it, it was a timeout. Now we're into a tech, and, and we'll give you the scores on the doors right now. Zywu leading the charge over there for Vitality, 17 kills. Masuta, 13 to his name. Apex with eight. Eight for Shocks and six for Kyojin. On the other side, four Gambit. We mentioned Axel had a great first half. He had 19. We just lost uh, Inters from the server. So I can't tell you how many kills he has. 12 for Shiro, 11 for Naphne, and Hobbit with 10. And remember, this is the pick of Gambit. Is it Mirage last? Mirage, I do believe. Let me just double, triple check. It is. Yes, it was the way the veto went was Vitality remove Ancient, Gambit remove Nuke. Those are the standard bands. Vitality opted to take things to Dust2 for the first. Gambit Vertigo here, where we find ourselves now as the second. It was a Vitality removal of Overpass. Gambit removing Inferno. And as we mentioned, the third and final map, if required, Mirage. Also, while we have this break, I just bumped into Harry and Hugo uh, between maps, and uh, they reminded me that that was their last cast of the year. And, uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed the year of entertainment from those two goonies, then do, don't do hesitate to go send them some love, because they'll be uh, twiddling their thumbs and playing a whole lot of Counter-Strike. Oh, they love it. They play a lot of Counter-Strike. They do. Two. Yeah, they absolutely fiend for the game that they spend their lives talking about. Then go give them some love. Harry and Hugo will be back with you next year. We're getting the fist bumps exchanged and ready to rock and roll into round 20, map two of this quarterfinal. Just in case someone's sitting there going, but I need to know how many kills Inters has. I must uh, yes. know. I must know. Well, uh, Inters has 16 in total to his name right now. So there you go. 100 ADR as anymore. well. The dude's been keeping it consistent. Yeah, he's been looking up pretty good here, Inters, today. And, well, we are back underway. The buy from Vitality. They've made it work. Masuda Zawa with those AKs. Apex into a Galil and pistols for the other two. You two, there's enough to make this work. They're ahead of the smoke completely. Like, look at the pace on this. Zawa gets himself fully established up towards short. Oh, but the Hobbit's off angle. Quick to respond is Zaiwu. And they've taken this space and then some. If Inters isn't careful, is looking very, very crispy. And his whole squad is here as well. Trapped now on the default box. It's a very high flash. Masuta does go down. A nice response here from the CTs. And Kyojin goes. And Zaiwu, the last to fall. Great reaction out of Gambit. What started off with a quick headshot ends with four from Gambit in response. And now Vitality's hopes and dreams of closing here on Vertigo start to look a little too far away. Yeah, they have to do it the hard way now, Vitality, because at this moment, without the plant coming down there with the loss bonus not in their favor just yet, they are going to have to take a save round. That gives Gambit a likely 12th here and an opportunity to keep a clean sheet and build this CT side bank. But that was responsive, right? The pressure came in. You mentioned it was quick out of Zywu. He gets that opener. They continue up that pace, all those kills, or the final few, you can see it a minute 20 on the clock, so quite fast. But two Deagles, 
is all they have to their name right now, the French, in round number 21. And, well, if you haven't been watching much Counter-Strike throughout 2021 and 2020, we see teams take the spin out of rounds like this. They slow it right down. They wait out all that CT util. They try and keep their opponents as honest as possible. A little maneuver out of Axile there, jumping over the top of the boards, getting that safe information. And there's one of the nades, a molly as well. There's 900 bucks thrown out from Axile himself. Maybe you could pull a bit more util out of these boys, especially if you get a drive by D going to Shiro. It's a very quick flick from him required. And it's easy peasy. A little jiggle actually betrayed Apex there. The old fashioned wide swing may have been better suited. Yeah, it is a, a, a bit strange how that works, isn't it? You know, if Shiro can play that position a little bit more comfortably, knowing there is going to be a jiggle there. But Masuda does get one in the end of things. And Oh, only two more bodies to hit the deck right now as they thrust themselves forward. The orc oh. shot misses. Masuda's found another. Yeah, that's lovely. Unfortunately, Shonks has only got himself a clock. And anything else. He does have the element of surprise, right? Or well, what about a throwing knife? Yeah, if you had a full throwing katana. I don't think you'd throw a katana, but maybe he could. I feel like he could. Shonks be... could. Yeah. And yeah, the Glock's just not quite suited for the task. Things are kept. Two bodies forced to rebuy, but it's not the end of the world for Gambit. In fact, they're going to be equalizing quite shortly if this doesn't go to plan here for Vitality as they do start to push their chips to the center of the table here on the T side. Yeah, Hobbit is staying with that uh, M4A4, right? So it's good to... Someone should keep a bit of a catalog of these players still sticking with the 30-bullet uh, rifle. We have seen a, a big change in the CT preferences in recent times ever since that update came on through, but here we know. go. Watching Bit with it. I think if you can, if you're as good as Bit, it is probably, and you're only hitting headshots, it is probably the better rifle. And Zaiwu's demonstrated his AKs very much up to the task and not quite going to give up without a fight. Now, Gambit haven't immediately pulled the ripcord on this mid hold. Oh, they're kind of calling the bluff a bit here, aren't they? They're yeah. hoping that, oh, they find this mid presence. Shiro just peers away. Now it's the boost. They're not pre aiming it. That's, oh, what a trade! Or rather, spray. Inters actually gets them both headshots as well. Having a great game Inters here. One of the best you've seen from him in quite a while. Yeah, that was lovely. You'd think Apex has that every day of the week, but Inters was so quick to get the bullets in the right direction. What does uh, Zywe have to do here, right? He got the opener. He set them up on a silver platter to try and get something done, but now hop it forward. Yeah, Masuta's in trouble too. Well, they can't go A. They know that it has to either be mid or B right now. You have to get through Hobbit if you want to go A. He's in quad. He's actually dropped a smoke of his own. It will indicate positioning, but they can't find that frag. Oh, more chip not damage. Easily. Yeah, Jox is running out of health. Zero now as Nafani connects. And I'd be fearful of all of these members now. They're hitting everything. Nafani and Shiro are there to put the cherry on top. 13 secured and very close to seeing Mirage. Oh, a complete change right now. Very stark contrast to map one. Those smiles, they've been creeping onto the face, but that was a massive grin out of Nafani there. And he's even continuing to give us a bit of a laugh. So couldn't be going better as within this second half so far, all that Vitality have to boast is the pistol and conversions. And this is the difference maker around like this. Yeah. It seems simple, doesn't it? Well, especially when you watch how Zaiwu managed to give them that opener, like... Straight through the smoke. Gray screened and on the Z axis. He's, uh, he's, he's got a bit, a bit of pent up anger today, I think, old Apex. Well, we ended our interview by talking about acknowledging your weaknesses is a strength. Well, Apex knows <laughs> all too well that he has got his heart on his sleeve, and I'm sure he's quickened in pace as his team starts to hit a quick deagle. Careful now, boys. It's Gambit's job to hit your teammates, not yours. Shox is in, and actually, this is a bit of room right now. If they don't address this, nobody's looking. If Shox yeah. continues to push the issue, there is can, currently a window of time. We can take a cursory glance. It's all about timing now. So if Inters, yeah, as he does, takes another look and dresses it now, he might be heard. And the pre-aim is here. Nice. Ooh, Look at him go. Awareness. Yeah, he's really switched on today. And that smoke as well, defensive. It is going to buy even more time right now. You can see that just blooming over towards the top of the stairs. Inter's parking himself close to the rotation for Axile between both places. And Nafni's pushed very aggressive. So this is just a matter of time round right now against Vitality. Flash forward. Uh -huh. Inter's set up for success. Uh -huh. See you later. This is great stuff. 25 kills for Inter's now. He's stolen the top of the scoreboard in the server now. Axel with just 20. Zaiwu and Masuda, the only two putting resistance up on the other side. You know when we went through the kills a couple of rounds ago? Well, it was uh, eight for Apex, eight for Shocks, and six for Kyojin. They currently still sit at those exact amount of frags. 
If any of those three can get going here, then maybe, just maybe, Vitaly can have something more to say. But with 14 now notched up on the board, Gambit are poised to take this to the third map of Mirage. Okay, no secret about their presence on that bridge cross. Shira has been taking notes about Zaiwu's book. Yeah, they're not going to try that boost again either. They have been like, lathered up with those nades. More utility. And there you go. Zaiwu spots Shiro. Only the tag right there. He will get away with his life. Very lucky to do so. We're definitely seeing... Oh, the one way. Yeah, but we're seeing such a new trend, aren't we? We saw it on Nuke with Godsent. We're seeing it here on Vertigo from the French as well. In terms of just buying time, instead of actually smoking the ramp directly, you can drop it one way and just assume it will be respected and play around it as it fades, though. Nafadis are sitting. Duck, Zaiwu, the one to pluck. And we'll return to an even keel as Shock starts his projects once again. He hasn't been having a whale of a time well, They're here. pushing into him. As his crosshairs averted. Ooh, Axalt. Fortunately, saved by the Inters. Shock's forced to cancel as the util reigns in. He's looking to join the pack and Hobbit. Oh, what a flash. And this is just textbook gambit. Teaching us all a thing or two here about Vertigo. Vitality have had very little to say coming into the second half. Bar their pistol and its conversions. They're playing off of each other so well here. Yeah. Like always flashing for each other. There's always some cheeky smoke. Re-aggressing in tandem. Always a trade available. And then one by one, Vitality falls. Shiro doesn't miss those. Zaiwu would need an ace clutch. Well, he's taking down Inters, you know, that's... Five seconds, imagine. Something. He would have to go full like Neo from the Matrix mode there. He'd have to be able to change the code of the server, line them all up, stop time for a second, and then pull the trigger and get all the kills. But uh, even Zaiwu's not that good. Well, he did well to die before <laughs> the end of the clock. Well, here we go. What should be the final round right now, round number 25, is going to be... The rough looking buy out of Vitality. It's going to be a Mac 10, a Galil, a couple of AKs, very smattered utility. Casey looking heavy mid now. They're going to push the issue here. Shiro's waiting. Ah, Hex. Forced to watch as this one unfolds and likely ends. Exile. Masuta. Yeah, they just want to get to Mirage. It looks like Vitality in a rush. And that's 16 to 9. Quite the response. Our Gambit really on the warpath for another reverse sweep chasing that semi-final. We'll be finding out how it ends. Mirage is the final chapter to this head-to-head. -head. And we'll be finding out who shall meet the Virtus Pro boys in that semi-final.